If you are going back to school, work, getting ready to twerk, keep watching this video because it's the most wonderful time. Not quite. Stamp commercials. What's good everybody? It's your main girl Mel back at it again with some hairstyles that are going to be perfect for when you are short on time because maybe you slept through your alarm because I've been there too and I'm needing a little refresh so I feel super cute. So without further ado, let's get styling. Let's first go over some things you will need. Now you will not need these necessarily in your book bag, uh, but do keep them in your bathroom. Especially if you're into styling because some of these are gonna make your styling so much easier in the morning, afternoon, good night. Number one, I keep a teasing comb. This is the Tangle Teaser Ultimate Teaser where I can use it to create nice defined parts, which we will be doing. There was a hair, as well as volume. But do not let this scare you. Teasing on curly hair can be done the right way and I'll show you how. I'm also keeping the ultimate finisher around. This is gonna be really good for smoothing and defining some hairstyles, maybe brushing through looks. I won't be brushing through my curls today. We're not in the 80s. The 90s, 2000s, wait for it. I prefer my curls to be nice and defined. I actually styled using my Tangle Teaser Ultimate Detangler, which is my usual routine. So this is now day three, and this is the perfect hair to work with to renew and make cute, because the last thing that I'm gonna do is wake up early to give myself shampoo, wash, condition. I do not have the time. But what I will keep by is some dry conditioner, some serum, absolutely. Uh, a spray bottle will be helpful. A pomade for slicking. All of these things are gonna set us on the right track for morning styling. So damn it, let's start it, shall we? Ow! 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 The way I have this hanging on my finger. Look at that. Cause this thing is heavy. This spray bottle holds the most amount of water I have experienced in a spray bottle. It's the Tangle Teaser. Continuous fine mist spray bottle. It's so high up. Ooh, refreshing. Now I'm awake. Now you can choose to wake up your curls with some water, but personally, I don't like to wet down my curls when I'm refreshing because I don't want to re-wet them and restyle them and then have to wait for them to dry. I like to use a dry conditioner to refresh and wake up the curls. This is gonna help to add conditioning, softness, also some good smell. It's like dry shampoo, but it's dry conditioner. And as we know, when our hair is conditioned, it's not as frizzy. Honestly, I describe the feeling like, it's like fabric softener on your hair. Like it just makes it feel a million times better. If you check out the side by side, this feels way less dry and not heavy or greasy either. Now the way I approach restyling my hair into a hairstyle is by looking for solutions. So I look at where my trouble areas are. If I'm noticing I have a lot of frizzies around my face is flat as it usually gets i will put my hair in my go-to hairstyle when i need one of these the bigger the better when it comes to your scrunchie now i did this in high school all the time minus the scrunchie actually there was a point in time where they were no longer cool but they're fully back now i used to always do my half up half down and i called it my jordan sparks ponytail if you don't know who jordan sparks is there's no air no air no air Oh, no air. Oh, there's no air in this room. So anyways, yeah, if you don't know who Jordan Sparks is, she's too young for you, bro. If you don't know who Jordan Sparks is, well, that's understandable because there's a good chance that if you're watching this video, you are probably too young or weren't even born to remember the late 90s and early 2000s, also known as Y2K. Now, this is both unfortunate, but also fortunate for you because some of the trends back then were a little bit questionable but a lot of those trends have come back the good ones at least and that's what I'm here to show you now I'm just using the ultimate teaser hairbrush to get a little bit of volume especially as most of our layers are on the top of our head if you feel like under here gets a little bit flat I would take a teasing brush now this one's got extra long teeth extra long teeth with then little short little teeth in there but how I like to use this is you want to be strategic in grabbing your sections. I like to go from underneath and just gentle strokes from starting from like a couple inches down from the, from the root, gentle strokes up. And it's really going to fluff out that root and give you a ton of volume 
without disturbing the curls on the end. And the star of the show here is my curtain bangs, which are timeless. They are extra curly this morning. Sometimes I just wake up like that. I usually just let them work themselves out, but I can also set them in place using some like prong clips if I really wanted them to stay in a place. I pin them down while I continue to get ready. And bada bing, bada boom, you have got level zero hard hairstyles. While solving the issue of you know, flat sides around your face and back here, this is a classic hairstyle, it's super cute. That we can also elevate by changing up the bangs. So back in the day, we used to do the, the bump it. It was a bump. It was the volume here and oh my, did I wear this all the time. Volume up here is very much coming back because it helps to kind of lift the face. It's also gonna keep your bangs out of the way so that you're not focusing and playing on them. They're not disturbing you while we're learning. So I will just grab the section between my temples and kind of poof it like this. If you're not feeling like you have enough volume just by placing it poofed, then don't be afraid to tease it a little bit. I like to give it a tiny twist because that's gonna help to secure the hair and make sure that it's gonna be easier to bobby pin in place. Crisscrossing your bobby pins will make sure that they don't go anywhere. And now to really finish this style, I'm gonna use the Ultimate Finisher hairbrush and we are going to slick the sides. I'm also going to apply a little bit of a hair pomade. This is like a wax, but it's a little bit more shiny. It's gonna give a little bit more of a sleek finish. So I just take some pomade and I melt it between my hands and I slick the sides that are currently being held up by my hair tie. Kept the sections clean. I'm going to take my brush. I use the Tangle Teaser Ultimate Finisher to make sure that I can catch every single hair. This brush has so many teeth and it gets a really good grip on the hair for smoothing because at the base of the teeth, you can see that they actually widen. This makes sure that it grips every single hair while you are brushing and smoothing and setting your hair into place to ultimately finish it. I'm just gonna take a little bit more pomade to kind of smooth down any of the frizzies that are around my hairline. And this style would be perfect if I didn't have this massive bump right here. Using the tail of your teaser comb, just stick it right into where you have that bulge and lift up. This is difficult to do without a mirror. Good as new. Bulge where? No bumps here. Now while this looks fab from the front, I just want to give you a tip for the back. If you are looking a little bit frizzy or maybe a little bit flat, I would take my teaser brush as well and just make sure that I get right in here, the crown area. Just needs a little bit. And I would take some serum to add some finishing shine and tame some frizz. And that's it. So cute. Literally takes less than five minutes. And I can show you one more variation since we are trying to emulate the Y2K era. While we're here, watch how I am taking this hair tie out. I'm going the opposite way that I put it in instead of trying to yank it out of my head, very, very gently unraveling it. No hairs were harmed. So back then and now, it was very popular to rock a side parting. We were all about the swoop, but I don't want bangs that hang. We're gonna sleek them to the side. I'm gonna use a little bit of water for this style just to redampen just where we are going to be restyling. So I don't need to wet the whole head, don't need to wet everything, just right in my bangs. And this is where this is gonna come super handy. This is the best tool to create clean partings. We don't want messy parts that look like this. We want sleek, sharp, where you can either do straight, but to be really 90s, they used to do a little zigzag. The diagonal parting would make sure that you keep volume on both sides so you didn't have like a comb over effect while still getting the side bang to lay well. So this is one way to do it, but I'm gonna do my own little twist on it and using the tail, I'm gonna draw a half circle 
really pressing right against my scalp and then separating the hair on both sides of the comb just like that I love the curve I feel like it goes well because I've got curls now I'm gonna take my ultimate finisher and smooth that hair it really grips the hair to really smooth it down and I can be super nostalgic and set it in place with some of these clips but I will make sure to secure it behind my ear with a bobby pin or 12. Back with that crisscross to really hold it in place. I'll repeat this on the other side. Boom, boom, bang, bang. Look at the bangs. Look at the, she's not going anywhere. Make sure you do a shake test before you go. And if you get a little frizzy up here, as I tend to, just continue using a little bit of Pomade. Pomade is so great because it's not going to leave your hair super crunchy, but it does help to sleek and mold the hair how you want it to be shaped. And this is the classic side bang that you can also wear so many different ways. This looks super cute in a ponytail, a high bun perhaps, or maybe two. Like what in the curly Lizzie McGuire is this? It's really, really cute, but look, if you don't like how your curls look here, you can always just continue twisting them and tucking them around like that. Now, I love these hairstyles because you can really camouflage a bad hair day and make it something new, make it something cute with truly minimal effort that will last you all day. Keep your hair out of your face so that you are ready for learning and a little extra beauty sleep. Am I right? If you like today's video and the hairstyles that I shared, do give this video a thumbs up because then I will share more hairstyle ideas, tips, and tricks with you. I'm always here to hear what you want to see next, so make sure you comment that below and subscribe so you can see those videos. Below in the description box, you will be able to find the links to the products and the tools that I use. Another big thank you to Tangle Teaser for partnering with me on this video. They've got every kind of brush that you would need to keep your hair curly or sleek. So make sure you check them out. I'll put the link below. And that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. Peace. I'm purposely filming this in the morning as you would be doing this to get ready. Excuse me, I'm getting ready. I'll put some mascara on to open my eyes a little bit. Your girl's tired. She's tired as shit. Let's go back to school. Back to school. Back to school. If you're late like I do. Who, 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 who? You might be running for the bus or you might have to stand in the hallway in the middle of the, the anthem because you were on your way to class, but you didn't quite make it. Back to school. Okay, why did it look like I have like a little widow's peak here? The way these curls are curling. Ma'am, between you and me, this is day three. I have been outdoors and my hair still smells. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss! <laughs> I'm hungry.